Hi all, let's talk about today's our problem. Our problem name is sum of middle elements of two sorted array, right? Let's understand the problem first. Our problem said, given two sorted array, array one and array two of each size n, right? We have to merge the given array and find the sum of two middle elements of the merged array, right? Here the first example is n equals to five and we have array as one, two, four, six and 10. In second array, we have elements 4, 5, 6, 9 and 12. Our output is 11. Let's understand question. Here, we are given this example. So, how to solve this question? The first intuition which came to my mind is like, I want the middle element, okay? I want a sum of middle element, right? How we can do it? Let's make a vector where I push all the elements into it into a sorted manner. Like we are given a sorted order. So I just uh, apply two pointer approach and store all the elements into the given vector. Let's, let's suppose 1, 2, 4, 4, 5, right? and uh, 6, 6, 9 and 10, right? Let's indexing 1, 2, 4, 4, 5, 6, 6, 9, 10, 12, okay? So here my n is 5. It means total number of elements are 10. Total is 10. So, what is my middle? Simply, we have to ignore this. We have to ignore 4. Middle elements are this. 5 plus 6 which is 11. Right? 5 and 6 which is 11. Right? So, we can simply solve this question with the help of this. But here, our time complexity is big of n plus m while traversing these two arrays, right? So this is the complexity and same our auxiliary space is also big of n plus m to store these elements into a vector, right? But as you see the constraint, let's see the constraint of this question. Constraint tells us that you have to do it in log of n and use extra space as big of n. You don't want we don't have to use extra space here how to solve this question in that case so here the prerequisite is prerequisite is you have to solve first median of two sorted array question median of two sorted array question first if you are not solve that question please please go to that video first solve that question Take care, understand the question first, then came to this video. That is very easy. Take care. If you solve that question, it's very easy to solve this question. Now, I just give you the little bit idea what we are doing in the median of two sorted array, right? So, in median of two sorted array, I hope you know the median, what is median? Median is the middle elements, right? Take care, median is the middle elements. If the elements are odd, take care, the median element we can easily find but it's if it's even number elements like 10 number elements we have to take a sum of middle two elements and divide by two right same case here in this case let's suppose to find the median in this case so what is the median here number of elements are even in this case we ignore first four elements from the start and ignore last four elements and take the middle of these two, which is 5 plus 6, we have to divide by 2, which is 11 by 2. Our median is this, right? But in this case, this question is that's why similar to the median, right? That's why we are here, we have to add and return. But in this case, we have to add, divide by 2, right? Because we need the median here. Now, Let me give a little bit idea. In this code, it, uh, it's a standard algorithm, 
So let me explain step by step. So we have to first calculate size n1 and n2 in median and here the condition is we have to divide into equal halves. So that's why every time size of n1 should be less than or equal to n2. If its size of n2 is greater, we have to swap these two arrays. Take care. So this is the condition in which we have to apply the binary search. Our low will point to 0 and high pointing to n1, right? And here i1 is the middle element, right? And i2 is the, it's a formula to find, to point i2 at that point through which we can divide into equal halves, right? So that is n1 plus n2 plus n by 2 minus i1, right? So in this case, we are finding our max 1, max 2, min 1, min 2. And this is the condition which tells us that we are dividing both array equally as well as all the elements in the left half is smaller than or equal to all the elements in the right half, right? And these are the condition when we have odd number of elements in both the array. If we sum, if the array sum is odd, right? In that case, we have to give max of max 1 and max 2. If it's even in that case, right? In this case, always we have even numbers. So in that case, we have to find answer 1 from max of max 1, max 2 and answer 2 from min of min 1, min 2. At the end of it, we have to add both and divide by 2. That's our median. Else, if it's not sorted, right? Like for example, in this case, our smaller element will lie in the right side but i want that smaller element to the left side in that case i have to shift my i1 so to shift i1 i have to shift low take care so low equals to i1 plus 1 else we have to shift high to left side take care so in this case in that case we are simply find the median of it take care so we are just let let me draw a diagram take care so you can understand this also let's take this example so the first condition is this is my left this is my right right left elements are smaller than equal to and in this case my 0 is at this place 1 2 so my low is 0 high is pointing to 3 so my mid is or say at i1 i1 is 0 plus 3 by 2 which is 1 so i1 lie at this place and i2 which is 3 plus 4 plus 1 by 2 which is 4 minus i1 which is 3 0 1 2 3 i 2 lie at this place so all the elements from the left side of i1 is lie in left side which is 1 let me write here and 5 and 9 lie at this place and all the element left side of i2 lie in the left half which is 2, 3, 6 and 7 lie at this place, right? So this is my max 1, this is my max 2, this is my min 1 and this is my min 2. Let me write here also. Max 1, this is max 2, right? So you see here, max 1, take care, we have to compare this diagonally and this diagonally take care here min 1 is less it means that i want that 5 into my left side so i have to shift my low to the right side so here this condition help us here so max 2 is greater than min 1 so i have to shift my low to i1 plus 1 take care so in this case my low is shift to i1 plus 1 which is 2 take care 
let me draw here low is here high is at 3 ठीक है high is at 3 so now my i1 is 2 plus 3 by 2 which is 2 ठीक है now my i2 is lying to this place see now my i want that target like 5 in the left half now all the elements all the elements left of i1 should lie in the left half which is 1 and 5 and 9 lie at right side here i2 is 4 minus 2 which is 2 now i2 lie at 2 means at 6th position at 6th element Take care. So it means that 2, 3 lie this side and 6, 7 lie to the right side. Take care. If you see this is my max 1, this is my max 2, this is my min 1, this is my min 2. Take care. So here you see max 2 is less then min 1 that's okay max 1 is less than min 2 that's okay it means that if you clearly visualize this this array all the elements in the left half is less than to the right of the elements right in this case i have to find easily my median right i hope you understand this median part so as i said this is a prerequisite i just copy paste this code and paste into the sum of element part now i have to change a little bit thing like n is fixed here so let me write here just replace high equal to n okay and if i write i1 equals to loop plus i by 2 now my i2 is simply is n to my n minus i1 Take care because here the elements are equal, right? Okay, this is all okay. Now, in this case, I tell you, like, I have to calculate, I have to calculate max 1 and max 2. So, in this case, I have to return the sum, take care. One lie in left of it and one lie in the right side of it. So, for the left part, I have to find max 1, max 2 right and one is in the right side so that will be minimum of min 1 and min 2 right that what we want take care so we want some okay that's the changes in this question Okay, so here the compiler error okay okay so i have to change this array to ar1 and ar2 right as we are just copy paste now so that's why naming a compilation error is there i think now it's all good let's compile it now Let's see. Okay. Oh, okay. Yeah. We have to change N1 and N2 to N also. Okay. So let me check whole code. This is fine. This is also fine. This is fine. This is fine okay this is also fine yeah now it's good i think let's compile again
let me submit directly yeah all the cases are passed theek hai so here what's the time complexity is what's the time complexity so simply we are doing the binary search so its time complexity is big of log of n right what's the space we are using here we are not using any extra, extra space so space is big of n big of 1 sorry big of 1 so that's all from my side hope you understand this question thank you so much